Hey guys, uh, so today I thought I will show you how to download Workspacer. So for those of you that don't know, Workspace is this thing that literally automated time management. And I thought the best way to show you is actually if I just uninstall it now, today, and then show you how I would install it again. So it, this is just me doing it live. So let me just uninstall Workspacer, which I'm sure everyone knows how to uninstall stuff. Um, prepare to remove, blah, blah, blah. So it should, it might cause a problem because I'm using it right now. Uh, oh yeah, so it's, there you go. Ruby is quiet, quit. Uh, yeah, automatic close application, boom. So, ooh. now that it's completely done, uh, workspaces is gone now. Uh, so if I open Edge, it just is it's free moving. It's, it's completely fine. So first of all, and I'll put these links down below as well. Uh, workspacer.org and then press download. And I'm pretty sure you just download the EXE or the MSI. So I'll do the MSI because I'm on Windows 10. Save as, save it wherever you want. Already downloaded it before. Click that. Next, next, next. Yes. Boom, boom, boom. Finish and MSA is installed, so I should have it. I start it up and it won't fully work to the way I want it. Oh, it does. That's interesting. That's not what I was expecting it. But if you click on it and then put open, enable config file, which is, should be there, which I'm, for some reason it's not there, but uh, that's because you used my previous memory of my workspace. So apologies. But if you go to your home directory, see users, your username dot workspacer, it should be, you can make a file called workspacer.config.csx. And I was going to show you um, me opening this on, uh, me copying and pasting this code that I've got on GitHub, which I will also put a link below, um, but it's just on my GitHub. So um, it's under repos and workspacer. And essentially I just copy and paste this file, which is the whole thing here into this base. I make sure I save it on C users QGTA workspaces, save it as this file, close it, and you guys will have the exact same configuration as me, and then just restart it. That's it, cool. Hope that was useful, guys. See you in a bit.